Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. Today we're going to be doing something uh, not, I guess, too productive, uh, unfortunately. But it is something that I meant to do, uh, I actually meant to do it on the 24th. I actually went and recorded it on the 24th, got halfway through and realised my uh, entire footage didn't record properly. Uh, meaning that footage is pretty much unusable. So that's what we're going to be doing today. What it was, was we are going to go around to a uh, some apprentice uh, scholar nodes to get some edge scraps of text. I actually have quite a few. I have 28, as you can see. I did uh, do quite a lot. I actually have a little map of all the uh, areas in Breland, which is the best out of Eridluin, Shire, and uh, Breland. The best place there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4... Eight, nine, ten places, ten nodes that we can uh, get stuff from. We are actually buy one now. I didn't even mean to do that, but first we are going to go have our silver gift for the day, Hobbit gift. We got a tome of, tome of defense. I think I already have one of those. It might be on a different character, but it is uh, something we probably won't end up using. Actually, no, that is on this character. Um, but as you can see, we do have some shattered pictures here, and obviously the point of this is we're going to get a tiny bit of XP anyway, which we are still getting XP from the uh, festival uh, currently. That is a very good thing for us um, that we're doing that. There's a supply cache. These guys are not going to attack us, which is really nice, so we might as well get the supply cache as well. Um, but we can get these dim candles, which, uh, I, well, I guess I at least ha know my topics that I'm going to be luckily talking about because I've already done this video technically. Um, so, yeah, I, I did say that uh, dim candles or a scholar is probably the one of the most annoying things that you can farm for multiple reasons. One, because the nodes are like really annoying, I, I find personally. I think it just might be a personal issue for me. Uh, and also the fact that um, the crit items you get from them are the scholar crit items. Like if I do prospecting, I have a chance of getting jeweler, weaponsmith, metalsmith crit items. So I can sell those if I don't need them. But for this, the only ones you get are scholar ones, which I guess is useful because then you don't have to have another. Um, you don't have to go to another character or a different, uh, you know, skill to get anything. But at the same time, it is kind of annoying because just, you know, it's kind of annoying in the sense of, um, you know, you don't get that sort of, we don't really get any extra money out of it. We get some XP, we're getting 20 XP per one and some uh, age scraps of text, which is going to be good because I don't know how many I need to do, but I get 8 XP from each of the, or I get 6 XP from these, that makes them into early third age runes, or relics, which we have to get two of these, I don't think we can actually unearth those, quote unquote, uh, and from there we can make crafting laws and battle laws, this gives us 10, and it's probably the best way to go if we want to do XP, so that is good, and then I also, part of this map does also include, um, and it's going to be annoying, Luckily, as I, as I said, I've done this before, so these uh, flags are actually um, ruins in the Midgewater Marshes that contain, uh, or, or is where these shattered pictures are, so you can see ones over there. Um, so, that's good, <laughs> at least, um, and hopefully my recording doesn't... Uh... I actually do know what the problem was. Uh, basically, what happens is I was using OBS, and when on this game, when you change any of the graphic settings, OBS stops recording the uh, the video, and I actually had to turn down a setting because I had one turned up by accident, and didn't realize until like the end of the episode. So it wasn't. Luckily, it didn't, we didn't do a massive amount. We actually started a deed, which I can talk about later because we have to go to the room that the deed starts at, and I don't actually think we did anything particularly more interesting than that. So. We didn't lose out on much, luckily. Um, it's not terrible, and uh, I don't know. It was, it was. I guess, nice to have a day of break. But that was also the day I recorded the Glitchcraft episode, so that took up a lot of time and a lot of hard drive space. I think in total that took up, and I can actually see now that took up 206 gigabytes of space. That uh, that video, and. Uh, as I said in that video, if anybody watched it, uh, the time I spent with Chrono, I actually very harshly edited that down, mainly because there were a few things that were just us ran. Um, so where it was, oh, this is actually part of that other uh, that other deed that I was on about. We can actually uh, do 
we actually have to do this to get. We're doing deeds anyway, so that's. That I think I ha very harshly edited it down and got. Um, I don't know how much. I think I want to say maybe like the raw footage was about an hour, and I edited it down into make maybe like seven minutes maximum. I couldn't really like 100% see, but what I am gonna hopefully be doing um, soon is uploading the full like unedited us rambling thing as an extra video, uh, like episode 7.5, um, I think it was episode, yeah, so it's like episode 7.5 and call it that, and uh, and see how that goes, I think it'll be nice just to have a little bit of an extra upload, but as I said, it's about an hour, um, and that's going to take quite a long time to upload as well as render, so um, that's probably going to take a while to actually get uploaded, uh, I don't know how long it's going to take, but... Uh, we'll have to see, I guess. So it will it will be up eventually, just not massively soon, because I'm also focusing. Like that's an extra video. I'm focusing on the other actual videos I'm doing now, like this one and stuff like that. That's my focus for the current time. So yeah. So we're gonna go over here now. This is gonna be this, and I think what we'll do, because uh, we're a lot quicker this time, because we I actually know where I'm going. Uh, and last time I actually like did part of the quest here, we had to pick up something for um, a quest. I think it was uh, unpaid debts or something. What we might do is complete these two quests, since these two seem to be able to be completed now. Uh, we can also maybe do Beneath the Hanging Tree. I'll put that one on now um, after we've done this, because I don't think these are going to take exceptionally long to do. Uh, we're, and there's no, like, by the time we get back, oh, I went the wrong way. By the time we, like, go back, Back, these things won't have restocked, I guess would be a way of putting it. They will not be, uh, as far as I know, probably won't be back by then. So, I don't know how it's going to go. But, yeah. I'm kind of annoyed because I haven't planned to do any skirmishes, but I have got plus 25% mark acquisition on currently, because it's apparently the weekend. It is the weekend, okay, yeah. But it was on there yesterday as well, I knew that much. Uh, so, I don't know. Their, their weekends are weird because they have like five day weekends sometimes where they're like, oh, this is a buff you have for for the weekend, but you have it like five days later. I'm not complaining. I get a buff for five days and don't really have to worry, but uh, it's fine. I actually want to see here. I do have a screenshot of it, but I do want to see. There are two two models in this game, two models in this game that I know of that are in T-Pose. T-Pose is like basic default pose. And I want to see if this one is still one of them. Yes, it is. There are two that I know of. This one is, is uh, Jack a Jack is one of them. He's in a T-pose until you attack him, I think. And there's one outside of Bree when you come in from Staddle. Um, I think, no, when you come in from Coombe, Staddle has a different entrance. I just find it fairly amusing. I have, I don't know, every time I see it, I'm, I sort of, I don't know, I get a little laugh out of it. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, there's supposed to be three here, and it's the other one's like really over here. I didn't actually go to this one last time, I just worked out. I think I actually stopped the episode around about here, and then realized at that point um, the footage corrupted or actually failed to record pretty much at all. I think I got maybe three minutes in before I, uh, before the footage stopped recording, and then I noticed like at the end, so it was kind of a... Definitely a bad part thing on my part. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. It could have been a uh, a different episode. I guess it was good that it happened on that episode rather than anywhere else. At least. So we currently have 55. That's good. So I think what we'll do is have a little search around here. We might have to go a bit further down to these. Uh, there's the warg. That's the only. This I think the only mob around here that ever killed me. And that was on an account very recently. I thought I was, you know, being a good player, and then I didn't really. I was like, oh, I can kill that thing. I was level 10, I think, on a newly created character, or fairly newly created character, considering it was level 10. And uh, safe to say, I didn't survive. <laughs> and I deleted that character <laughs> because I kind of got annoyed. Um, uh, and mainly because I wanted the uh, the deed and title for not dying. Because I think you actually get five turbine points for that. Um, 
And yeah, if you want a very slow amount of turbine points, five turbine points every time you get to level like 14, I think it is. I think it's undying. We can check. Uh, is it race and social under that? Oh, we we have done a cool reception, so we actually got all those. That's a thing. Uh, we've completed more, the more than area twice. Um, but which one is it? Unscathed the wary. One of these gives you like five turbine points. I swear. I think I stop at level twenty. Either that. No, I was gonna say I felt level twenty four, but we got to level twenty four. I think they end at level twenty, but I swear there was one that where if you don't die, um, you have five turbine points. Maybe it doesn't show it, but it did show the other one, so that's kind of worrying. I do want to see what these are. It's a lake. Oh, that's the the hanging tree. Yeah, it's in a a lake according to the map. So that's that's. Weird, I guess. Um, but we will come back here. I think on occasion I might do this in between episodes. It doesn't give us too much XP. Logically, it'll only give us one, two, three, well, ten. It'll give us like 200 XP per trip in theory, um, or maybe even a like. Yeah, I think I think it's about that. Yeah, 200. I think I might miss one every so often, so average about 200, I'd say. Uh, XP because nothing's going to attack us so I think doing that in between episodes isn't going to be too abysmal to do and then uh, we can do some researching and crafting and stuff and I will work out sort of obviously I can work out like 200 divided by 10 how many I need to do I need to do 20 of them but uh, it's a case of, like how many material how many third age runes do I need to get the battle laws I need 10 of them so I need to work out actually I can do that now I literally just worked out I do have enough, just looking at the recipe. So we need to cut away at three of these. We'll then give in that those two to Sagefoot and that to whoever needs it, I can't remember. Uh, Ted Pickthorn. So these are all completed now. So we'll go over here, then we can go complete. We need to make ten of these. How many, actually, how many is it for this? Two for each, so that's going to be, we need to make... Well, yeah, we need to make 20 of those, so that's going to be 40 out, so we'll have 20 left, which means we can create 20 of those. We will have just enough, it looks like, to get Apprentice up to uh, completed. It won't be mastered, it will be, I'll have proficiency in it. So I think we should be good there. So let's talk to Ted Pickthorn, and the Sagefoot is there, so we'll complete that, finish that one now. We'll take his quest, but we'll put that one aside for the moment, and I'll have to make list these off. So finish that now, we get a, co a cloak out of it and we also take that one off him. We will not have to worry about these but I will do the agility one, I don't know why. And I do also need to have a look at um, getting myself some new jewellery because I actually don't know what level this stuff is. It's level 12. Very long time ago it's not giving us as much protection as it was at the time and also armour I think also might need to get some better upgrades so we will have a look at that because I definitely I remember getting that stuff in Eric the Win which was a while ago so now we're level 24 we're literally double the level of the things we needed to do uh, we well we got it for so yeah also we're gonna get XP from this so we can probably go around 15 but I think it's worth going up to 20 use all what we have up and uh, we'll still get extra stuff from mastery anyway because these are giving us six that means we're gonna get 120 XP out there, so we'll have 128 at the end uh, if my math early in the morning works. And um, yeah, that we should be okay, I think. We're also getting some XP for the whole crafting thing, and yeah, it's not a massive amount of XP, but you know, we're gonna do some farming as well, that'll give us some XP, but we should be fine. I also want to see if I can actually go and buy um, some of these things anytime soon, but I will have to see what we get next level. Uh, because I think we have these worn fragments, they can be used by journeyman scholars, 
which is going to be good because obviously we're going to be a journeyman scholar. And also we have these um, scroll cases, which is good. I think I might have a few on some other accounts, but um, either way, I can actually go farming for a ton uh, because they drop from very low level mobs and I can just use my uh, my main to farm a few. And uh, yeah, we should be all good in there. So two more to go. Well, three more to go. And we should be fine. And it's actually a good time we're ending because it's around about the time we plan to. So, so we're going to create... Uh, do we want minor warding law? Or do we want minor battle law? We'll go with battle law because I don't know why. Actually, what salt's for most? 420 and 420. Okay. Either way, we will sell them for the same amount. So, And these give us... I don't know, do these give us better stuff? These give us higher physical and tactical mitigation, and this gives us physical and tactical mastery rating. Um, I actually properly need to work out um, sort of the whole mechanic behind that, because I'm not actually 100% behind it. Oh, it's that graphic bugged out slightly. Uh, but we should, as I said, be uh, getting to that level. We need only two more to go, so we are definitely overdoing the amount. We'll get a uh, 128. Yeah, 120. Well, yeah, because that's obviously how much we had before we did all the crafting, and we did it enough to work out the crafting. Uh, so we'll have 128 out of 400. Or not, actually. We'll only have 120 out of 400, it looks like, because it cut out the extra 8. And that is fine. we got the title awarded to us. I don't really care too much. And uh, we'll let those go. Now let's have a look at what we can do here. So we can get cryptic text, which is texts, which is from two ruined, uh, ruined second age trinkets. And we can get two ruined second age trinkets, or one ruined age second age trinket from two worn fragments, which is kind of just... Annoying. Um, I actually don't know where I got 41 of these. I don't actually remember off the top of my head. And luckily we'll get to use this age scrap of text now the one that's bound to account so that we can finally get rid of it um, by using all of it up. Which is going to be nice. And we also get quite a bit of... Uh, we'll have whatever... Oh, we created that. We acquired three because we created it. That is awesome because we've now... I created again. I am seem to be very lucky. Well, it's a percentage, 10% chance. That's not actually that bad. Um, and we could use the dim candles, but we'll probably... Three crits in a row. Actually, not three crits in a row, but nearly three crits in a row. That is a lot of crits. Uh, we only get 20, so 84 and 33, 60. That's actually quite a lot. That's good. And uh, let's have a look at what we can make this time. And the good thing here is I can actually... Um, like this, we can add to our own crit chance or like later I'm gonna be able to throw it onto like uh, weapon smithing I guess uh, we'll have a high level weapon smithing law which means um, we'll get a plus well in this case plus 2.5 percent chance but later on we'll be able to get to like plus maybe 10 percent chance I don't actually know I've never really leveled a scholar up but uh, we got that we also get these for 10 XP which is what we're probably gonna do just do the 10 XP ones to level up quickly, um, and then we can master them at a later point. But that's going to be it today. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.